Hi, Abby. Hello. This is Abby from the Connect Project in Wales. Um, do you want to tell you tell us where we're sat right now? So we are sat in Evergreen House, which is a new project in Somerset, supported project in Somerset. And um, I work for the Connect Centre in Wales under the Elim umbrella. And we've opened this house on the 21st of November last year, so it's been open for two months. Um, and we've got four guys living here um, who moved in in November. Um, so it's new, it's brand new, but we're here. Brilliant. And Abby, tell us a bit about the um, uh, um, 16 hour plus project. So oh, the running. meaningful hours. Meaningful hours. Yes, I've, I've been banging on about this quite a lot to my team, just to say how important, I think it's very important because it gives the guys a focus week to week. Yeah, I'm just going to shut this door. Shut door. Yeah, go on, carry on. Just gives them a focus week to week um, and some structure for their day. And um, I think it just focuses the mind on employment and dealing with their finances and maybe healthcare. Um, so it's quite a holistic approach. So what is it exactly? What are these meaningful hours? Well, I think it varies from person to person. But for me, it means um, anything that addresses either a healthcare needs or a mental health needs or finances or housing. Um, or employment or volunteer work, if, if we can keep it within that. And so they're required as part of their license agreement to do 16 hours yes, of meaningful I've, activity? Yeah, I've written in for 16 hours, which is about three hours okay. a day. And what are some of the examples of some of the things they've been doing? Um, so we have we are partnered with another project, a housing project um, run by The Connect called The Dairy House, which is um, a farm in Stratton-on-the-Foss. And they can go to the farm twice a week. We've, I've got a lift... Um, where they can go out there and do um, work on the farm where we produce, um, where we grow food and sell it. Great. Um, and also we have at the Connect Centre, we've got a catering business and a kitchen Great. and they can volunteer in the kitchen. Um, and then also, like I've, my guys are partnered with support, one-on-one -on -one support. And okay. if they go to, say, the job centre or citizens advice or anything to do with finding housing for the future, I would count that towards meaningful hours okay. as well. Brilliant, brilliant. So um, what would you say has been the biggest uh, positive effect of that? Uh, I think it just brings some structure to their routine yeah. and focuses the mind instead of, yeah, I think it just focuses a bit of their structure yeah. to their week. No, I think it's fantastic. So of our partners have done it as well. And um, partners, if you're listening, it's definitely something to explore um, if you're not already doing it. Anyway, we're here in the lounge. This is the garden. It's an amazing little garden we've got. And um, uh, it's fantastic to come and meet all of the residents here, Abby, and uh, meet your team. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.